Well, what's going on? So, this is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone, and today we are back with part two of Does a Shorty Bridge versus the Long Ashtray Bridge make that much difference in tone uh, to your guitar and why? So, if you go back to that first video, we'll put one of those gray circle things up here. You can go watch it if you want. Um, we put the short uh, bridge on the guitar with the same saddles. We, we use these saddles over again, and we put the long one on there. And we did some back-to-back -back tests, and I did not tell you which one was which because I didn't want any kind of bias happening within the same video. So this video is the result of that to tell you what you were listening to last week. And then we're going to talk about some kind of misconceptions and stuff as to why people might have heard what they heard. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and throw up on the screen right now um, where you're going to listen to the same exact tones that you heard last week with the bridge that went with it okay so here you go How about that? Pretty interesting, huh? Now, um, at the time of making this video, uh, there was only like one or two people of everybody that was commenting that got this right. Which is really, really interesting because people are really convinced that the traditional bridge makes it sound more traditional telly. And there was a lot of comments that were like, man, if I didn't know, I it wouldn't make that much difference. Um, there were some people that had a lot of crazy theories as to why they thought they were hearing a difference. Uh, there's one thing you have to remember here when we did this. And if I were to ever do it again, I would actually get two brand new sets of strings. Um, the string age would have made a pretty big difference actually, which I should have probably compensated for. A few people wanted to say that maybe I changed the mix. I did not actually mix anything. This was literally as it came out of the camper through the interface. I literally copy and pasted the files into the video. I did not touch them. I did not put compression on them. I did not do anything. Literally as it came out. Uh, so there is that. So I didn't, didn't do anything with that. A few people were saying, yeah, it must be the eddy currents from the bridge. We have a video on eddy currents. I'm gonna put it, uh, the gray thing up here on, on that. People wanna say all day long that eddy currents from this bridge with this pickup being surrounded by it cause tonal differences because that's not how eddy currents work. Um, you have to have a large parallel surface with really no breaks in it to cause eddy currents to be that big of an issue but because the pickup actually where's this other oh so because the pickup sits through it breaks that plane and there is enough space there um the math that goes with magnetism and guitar pickups uh, uh every everybody gets wrong um they assume because it's a magnet and it's a piece of metal that there is an effect but because of the relative weakness 
overall of the magnets, the distance between everything, the math and the science just does not support it. Um, it's just not there. So um, it's really interesting how people will still want to just say that they, I really hear a big difference. But what's crazy is there are only a couple of people that really got this right. So what does that say? It says that it's your, your bias is based on how you feel about it. And that's what's so interesting about a lot of this guitar stuff. We can put technical data, and this is kind of why I've not done much of these videos lately, because you can put technical data up all you want. And I can make all these videos about magnetism and the uh, dipole moment of an Alnico 5 pickup with this diameter and that size of the string and magnetic fields. And I can, I mean, we could go into all of the science um, to be accurate about it. But in the end, it doesn't matter. In fact, in a group on a Facebook group the other day, somebody's like, you're taking this nothing matters too far. And I was like, well, everything matters. Like everything is a contribution to the tone of the guitar in some way, um, most things. And so, yes, everything does matter. But in the end, my point is it doesn't matter because you can't tell the difference. Most people cannot tell the difference. If we were to really, really analyze this, could people figure it out? But maybe, but in the real world, this stuff that we geek about over and over and over and over and over, most of it doesn't make that much difference. I've said it for a very long time. The tonal different, the tonal area between the saddle and including the saddle and the nut and including the nut, anything that happens between there is the majority of what happens on a guitar. Everything after it doesn't really make that much difference. So, and this is this proves that in a lot of ways because um, not that there wasn't a difference to be heard, but that people could not accurately guess what was what. I should do this with tone wood. I should do this with, I mean, we should do it with all kinds of stuff, but we don't need to because I don't care what you think you know or you think you believe, you know in your heart most people aren't going to be able to tell the difference. Really, really interesting video. We talked about between the tonal area, right? Including the saddles and including the nuts. So uh, another upcoming video test that I'm going to do is saddle materials. So we got the Tech saddles, we got the brass saddles, we've got aluminum, steel, and titanium. I'm really interested in this. Uh, this video is going to come out in a couple of few weeks. I got a vacation kind of to work in here, but this is going to be an interesting test. So stay tuned for that. And uh, thanks for hanging out. And we will talk to you soon. Oh yeah, make sure you subscribe and stuff. This stuff is fun. It's very cool. And put in the comments what you thought. I mean, I, obviously, I want to hear from you. Um, this is a really interesting one. And I, I it's, just, it's just really... Not only are the technical results interesting, it's just how people interact about this stuff is very interesting too. Um, it says a lot about people and how they feel and what they think um, about what is true or what they think to be true or what they hear and how it's different for everybody. It's really cool. Anyway, thanks and we'll talk to you soon.